Let me just tell you guys. I'm not sure if you need this for this. You guys gotta worry about like, do my pants match my shirt? I gotta worry about like, what's popping out? Yeah. From well, where? Yeah. Where? What? What's happening? Yeah, could be an issue. Yeah. So I'm gonna try not to worry about that and answer yeah, your question. All right. So let's start. So without giving too much away. Uh, how did you approach this season? What's the kind of differences? Uh, and uh, you know, what, what? How would you sum up uh, this season as best you can? Well, we tried to go really balls to the wall. Is that a technical yes. kind of film term? I believe so. Uh, every season, we try to grow organically, but also sort of exponentially in how we build out the world and build out the stakes. And working with the actors for as long as we have, we're such a family, and I'm so in awe of their talents that I sadistically just want to write the most difficult stuff for them to perform ever and watch them blow me away. And so, honestly, for me this season, it's just, they are revelatory, I love our cast, I love our crew, and uh, I don't know, it's, it's been really fun. Sure, I mean, the, the, the pandemic obviously was a huge problem for everybody, but how did that affect how you approach this season? I think because of the pandemic, I approach this season with so much gratitude. You know, gratitude that we were able to keep working safely, that I was able to have a community still, and I think it's been a really hard time for so many people. And to be able to be with my Westworld family through it has really helped me personally. I, I just feel so incredibly grateful to them and to HBO for letting us do it. <laughs> uh, so if they announced tomorrow that hosts were a real thing, how would you react? I definitely try to get on their good side. <laughs> Do you have any favorite characters? Uh, I know you, everyone loves uh, everybody, but if you had to pick one, who would be your favorite character? You're going to ask me to choose between my characters? Choose your children. I can't. I have two children, and I have a family of hosts and humans on Westworld. I can't possibly choose. Do you have any favorite robots from TV and movies that you've kind of drawn inspiration from over the years? Gosh. Um, I don't, I don't, you know, was there a show called Small Wonder? There was. Was she a robot? Vicky the Robot, yes. I remember, I think on a sick day watching that once and being like, that's a cool ass robot. She I feel like the first house. Yeah, she was nicer and it was like a much rosier world than ours. Exactly. Yeah. So, if you could create your own theme park for yourself, what kind of park would you create? I would just want to go from literary salon to literary salon through the ages and just kind of drink wine and eat food and talk to the folks that were alive every decade. Sounds perfect. And, and given, you know, the state of all the uh, you know, data collection and AI, like, how far away do you think we are from the West Coast future? We're there. I mean, what started as futurism in sci-fi has become reality. This season we examine a pandemic of the mind. And as far as I'm concerned, we're already in that. The coronavirus was a horrible sort of physical pandemic that just ate away at us and caused so much pain. But I also think that during that time, social media really took hold of the collective consciousness and we haven't yet figured out how to regulate it or process it. And so I think it's something that our society is gonna to have to confront. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much.